guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to share with you my completed Mossery sketchbook. According to my first impressions video, I started this sketchbook in June 2017. It was sent to me by Mossery. And it's not my favourite completed sketchbook so far in terms of what's in it, but I like it for what it was in terms of me figuring out along the way how I wanted to be using a sketchbook and just trying different things out. So you'll see what I mean once I get into it. Um, obviously on the front it is monogrammed with my name um, and I'll have a link below to where you can buy these for yourselves. But yeah, this sketchbook is a little bit of everything I want a sketchbook to be for me. Um, if you saw my first impressions video, I was really excited about these pages right at the beginning where they have space where you can write your goals and purposes and just brainstorm ideas. I was really excited to use these and I didn't and I wish I had, but I think my expectations for this sketchbook turned out to be quite different to what I ended up with. It's ended up being a kind of hold all for things like souvenirs, memories, rough sketches, ideas. So to start with, it's just these drawings of all the different things I packed when I went to a music festival back in July of last year, um, the clothes I wore and just the things that were in my rucksack that I would carry around with me in the day. This is from the same trip, this was our campsite. Um, I actually have a vlog on this if you are interested in watching that. Um, just a few patterns and things that I saw, I did this in gouache and then just like different faces, different still from the festival, different performers and um, this is where I just stuck in the little train, train ticket from the miniature railway. This was my first time trying my more kind of minimal painting style on faces and it didn't turn out great but it was a good start and you'll see pretty soon where I ended up with that. This was just the festival wristband as well. This sketchbook doesn't have the flow that I normally like for a sketchbook. I don't normally use a wire bound sketchbook. Other than that, it worked out really well. The paper's great for everything that I used it for, ink and gouache and watercolors and pencils, but I don't know if I would go back to using a wire bound sketchbook. It just doesn't translate well with my art. I like to have things flowing across the page and you'll see with this one, things feel a lot more stiff and stunted in here. Here I was just looking at, um, I like the really gormless faces in Renaissance paintings. Um, so I just wanted to draw a couple of those and I might come back to this idea. Um, but yeah, this is what I was talking about with that painting style. Now this one turned out pretty badly. I think I picked the wrong colors for this, but with this one, I overworked it a bit so it doesn't look as good as it did when I first started with it, but I got more of a sense of just laying down paints in a few blocks at a time, looking more abstractly at the planes of the face and the different colours that you can find in there. So even though it looks kind of muddy and a bit of a mess and it's not finished, this was kind of a turning point for me from those last ones. I got to know that technique a little bit more um, and also in terms of developing my art and like developing myself as an artist in this sketchbook. My attitude and approach to this one that didn't turn out great was a lot different because I was more just in this to enjoy the process of painting and it was like I asked my sketchbook a question like if I put this colour and this colour together in this way what's going to happen and this is the answer so I'm not I'm not mad at this I don't hate it and I can look at that with a, an appreciation that I normally wouldn't just in terms of what I learned through painting this. Also, my sketchbooks aren't in order, so this, I think this is actually the last page that I did in here. And then we're going back to July here. So this was the Lambeth Country Show. You can see this in the same vlog that I would have put in the cards earlier. Um, I drew some sheep. I really like this one. Um, and for these, I used colored pencils. And I think probably my, I think I used watercolors over here and then my Zig Clean Color Real Brush Pen over here. Okay. Um, over here, I had just seen War for the Planet of the Apes, so I decided to draw that. And then in this pocket, this page is like a collection of different times, different memories. So I just made a pocket here for train ticket to um, Ifield. This was sent to me by one of you guys. Um, this is Ozzy's graduation ticket. And then also the flyer for one of my sister's roller derby games that I went to. And just here I wrote um, a quick summary of all those things and what they are and what they mean.
these are the houses that you'll see me draw when I was working on building commissions um, and this was another more recent page another shift in my approach to sketchbooking where I got an idea and I just went with it I didn't look at pictures I didn't think about it too much I just thought I want to draw some eyeballs and I did and you can see from the start so I started on this one and kind of worked my way around and I think by the end I had more of an idea of what style I wanted. I used gouache for these two as well, um, watercolour for most of them, but along the way I realised the kind of style that I wanted it to be in and I think you can see a real difference from this one to this one. But I really enjoyed this and I kind of feel like these would make great stickers or something. This is one of my journal pages in here. Um, again, I, will ha I have a video on that so if you want to see it in more detail you can check that out. Over here, um, another random idea that I just decided to do while it was fresh in my brain. And these are some paint swatches. I got some different wall paint colours that I wanted to try out in my room and I thought I would swatch them in here first just to see what they're looking like. Because I thought they all went really nicely together. Okay, so here we're going back in time again. Um, this was... I can't remember why I did this, but I wanted to test out the like one stroke um, painting style of flowers that you see a lot in Asian art. So these were some peonies that I did and just a few different trials of you know how wet it would be on the page and then I had a few random drawings in other sketchbooks or like scrap pieces of paper of peonies that I'd drawn for like a tattoo design practice. So I stuck those in as well. And then as it goes along you can see little pig faces creeping in because again it was just a random idea and I thought what would it look like if there was a little pig face in there so I painted those and I wanted to develop that into a proper painting and I was looking at how I could fit that in, different colour ideas, I also tried casein for the first time here um, but then if you remember around that time I think I might have it in a vlog as well I kind of chickened out of the pig idea, I thought it was a bit weird um, and I just went with straight peonies which turned out to be a really nice idea, I really liked this and these are just a couple of misprints from my shop that I stuck in to keep as a memory of that progression from that idea to what it turned into. Um, this, this is just a random page of sketches that ended up turning into a painting. These I have a video on as well, my um, minimal landscapes. And this is more of a journal page again where I went to see Lady Day at the theatre and just tried to capture some of the atmosphere from that night which was an amazing, amazing show. So here I'm going back to the pig idea um, and I just really roughly sketched out a few ideas for different poses for the pigs and this is where you'll see how I ended up with my pomegranate pig. So it started out as a little sketch over here that I turned into a more detailed sketch. Then I tested out different colours for the painting, just a few different combinations, taking notes here and there, seeing, just keeping a record of how I was thinking at that time, what I was feeling and what, and what decisions I was making. I tried drawing a few flowers and then the real turning point for me with that was drawing this or painting this pomegranate. I loved how this turned out. I loved the style of it. So I thought I want to take that forward into the finished painting. I wasn't sure if it was the colors that I liked. So I just kept a little record there of the different colors that I had used. And then I tried painting flowers in that way. These are the flowers of the pomegranate plant. They're gorgeous. Um, and I wanted to try different ways of getting just a pop of colour and vibrancy through them and still have my line work coming through. So these were just a few different bits of trial and error with paint consistency, pencil, I used pastel for some of them and also different colours that I might want to use. And then I ended up on just some scrap paper again, drawing out all the line work together and the final colours that I had decided on. This was my test of painting out the colours all together and from that I realised that I didn't want to have the pig um, red, I wanted it to be pink just so it would stand out more. So this down here is just another little misprint that I stuck in to see how the plan turned into the finished piece. And then on the next page is how it actually turned out looking and just a few notes that I'd made along the way that I again cut out of some scrap paper and stuck in. And then this really random is from when I was doing my paint pouring. A couple of people were saying that it was a waste to have so much pouring into the bottom but the thing is that when you have it pouring into plastic you can actually peel that off and use it for different things. So I've seen people make like jewellery out of it. I just thought it'd be nice to cut it out and stick it into my sketchbook. 
This is one of those really rough pages. This was during Inktober and I just used this sketchbook basically as scrap paper to map out different ideas. So this was the Lagoon Creature page. I wanted to test some of the tonal values and see if I could make it all fit together well without everything getting lost in there and I just wanted to also see about mixing blue and black ink and how well that would work. And then this was the dragon house and it turned out a lot better on this texture paper than it did in my Inktober sketchbook. You can see a lot more of the scale texture of the dragon than I got in the final piece but this was just my first time trying this technique so I wanted somewhere to quickly see how that would turn out. Over here, another rough page, I just wanted to look at some figure studies. This was one of those days where I really just needed to draw something and this was an easy thing to go to. This day I was drawing chickens and that turned into this drawing, which turned into this painting. Um, I made 18 prints of this for my patrons. I had 17 go out and then one, this one that I kept for myself. And then this this was another random idea, just a painting for the sake of doing something kind of thing. So I just drew a little fireplace and then painted it all from imagination. I quite like how that turned out, so I might do more things like that. And then we're at the end, which was actually the first page that I didn't hear, which is when I was testing out a few different media to see how this sketchbook took to them. And I have a video of the process of this and how I found the paper held up, which I'll have linked somewhere on screen and down below. Um, and then right at the back is actually where I keep um, all the letters that I get from you guys like throughout the course of having a sketchbook because I love going back through old sketchbooks and I also love getting letters from you guys and it's nice to have it all in one place. Like each sketchbook represents like a chapter in my life and it's nice to have a little record of all the things that I get from you guys in there. And for some reason I really like to keep the envelopes as well. And then this one is actually from Autumn who made my next sketchbook. So I'll have a link to her below, but you'll probably have seen that sketchbook by now. I should be using it by now. And yeah, that is it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it's been it's been a quick one. As I said, it's not my favorite sketchbook, but a lot of ideas came from this and a lot of development came from this. And I'm looking forward to sharing my next one with you because it's going so well so far. I feel like I am finally on track to mastering the keeping of a sketchbook. So thank you for watching. I will see you soon for the next video. Bye.